So we have double XP weekend for the first time ever in MLB The Show, and that's because the new reward path is based on experience. MLB The Show really thought outside of the box when they brought this into the game, and this video is going to consist of the best ways to maximize the amount of experience you do end up gaining on this weekend. Now, two things I want to make clear is MLB The Show basically said it does not count for parallel experience in terms of paralleling your player to a higher community parallel level and it's not going to work for any of the missions you complete you're not going to get double the experience for completing a certain first inning collection or going ahead and completing any collection in general or any program in general you're not going to be getting double the experience even though if you could that would have been cool and if they would have allowed everyone that already completed it to just redeem that double that would have been even cooler in my personal opinion so let's talk about how to maximize it but before we even get into how to maximize it if you're new to the channel end up new on today's content please make sure to hit that like button please make sure to hit that red subscribe button turn on that channel notification bell you're going to be seeing cards pop out throughout the entire video on the top right it's going to consist of each and every single playlist i have on the channel but you can check it out for yourself by clicking on the channel playlist and then checking them out community tab interact with me there and then the more blade miss section has my other youtube channels follow me on twitter twitch instagram youtube and then last but not least if you want to go ahead and support me an extra mile you can become a member of the channel which is a monthly subscription plan now let's go ahead and dive into how to maximize your experience so my first and biggest tip is going to be if you haven't done conquest yet conquest would be the way to go and why you might be asking well let's say you've been working on team affinities right and you don't have team affinities completed the entire way but you got a good percentage of them done like i do for the al central now as you obtain packs you obtain players that you need for missions those players that you need for missions are going to give you team affinity points that are going to progress you along the lines of allowing you to complete that team affinity so what i would do is i would go ahead and set a lineup up how you guys see i have right here of those players within those team affinity programs that are going to allow you to progress within team affinity and i would take them into conquest because in conquest you actually are going to get double the experience for playing each and every single stronghold game and it's a mandatory three inning game another way to get an insane amount of experience and pretty quick too is by playing events which are free and battle royale which are not free it's pay to enter but if you're good enough you're gonna make a decent profit from it and then last but not least you can also gain a good amount of experience from playing ranked seasons in general as well now i maximized the first inning program meaning i completed the first inning program up to the choices of the bosses that's basically the completion of the first inning program and then everything else is extra if you're looking for the fastest way to actually complete this first inning program i got you in this video as well so you're getting a two for one special now daily moments i have not done not one daily moment except for the ones that are like hey get a certain amount of innings with a certain team those I can do 100% of the times because they are offline. Anything that forces me to play online, like these multiplayer ones, I generally can't do because I'm doing all my offline content grind first before I hop online. But if you're someone that has already been dabbling into events, has been dabbling into ranked seasons, battle royale, I would suggest looking in here each and every single day and then adjusting your team to go ahead or adjusting how you're playing to go ahead and complete these missions for example if i never steal bases i might consider stealing two bases today just because i want that extra 400 experience when it comes to exchanging players i would never do this daily mission especially in the start of the game unless you have completed collections and you don't care about any of the duplicates you have because you're not looking to make any stubs from it then we go to missions missions are probably the easiest ones to do once you head into the competitive field because all you have to do is get some w's now you play events for free you hit a couple of home runs someone quits out and you're already working towards it when it comes to the 42 series it's a little bit more difficult because you either need to grind most of these players out through team affinity or you need to buy them from the starter diamond choice packs if you did not get those starter diamond choice packs and then flex your muscles is pretty easy as well 
as I said previously, all you need to do is hit home runs, and it doesn't matter the player that you use. And now, this one might be difficult for some people if they can't hit for their life, as obviously you need to hit a home run, and if you can't hit for your life, you're not going to be hitting home runs. Now, these right here, these two, are going to be the most effective way to gain experience, and even though it's double XP weekend, you aren't getting these rewards doubled. So you're not getting 2000 experience for completing this, but for the time you spent within that moment, because that classifies as gameplay, you actually are going to be getting double that experience. So if you haven't done moments yet, and we are going to be getting a fresh set of moments, but they're not gonna be particular to the first inning set of moments, I would go ahead and do moments and just hammer them all out gain all of that experience after i finish all of that i would go to the first inning diamond conquest map which we have a guide to you can click on the channel playlist how to conquest and go ahead and check out that guide and you can basically see the most effective and fastest way to complete that entire first inning diamond conquest map earn yourself 15,000 stubs or experience not stubs and then while at it each stronghold game you play is going to have double the experience which is going to be beautiful and then one of the final ways that is going to be a little expensive for one of the two is going to be you can complete the first inning collection collect all eight get yourself an extra 50,000 experience or you can go ahead and just finish doing the veteran eric davis player program and then once you complete that player program this card is free to get and you cannot sell it once you obtain it so don't even think about it you cannot sell it it literally has no sell on it all you have to do is complete a certain amount of moments to get to 42 once you complete each and every single moment you're at 42 the rest is basically either you play a game against the cpu on all-star to get the remaining eight and unlock him i'm not going to do that because i get all my offline grind off of conquest and moments i'm not going to kill myself with play versus cpu I'm just gonna go ahead and naturally get one of these two done in battle royale or events so I'm not even really stressing it so if you've already been dabbling into events battle royale etc you're just gonna naturally go ahead and complete this especially if you have a primary center fielder whenever you see something that says hits with center fielder or a certain position it does not mean hey I can put someone that really plays left field as a primary position into center field and it's going to track no it would only track if that player is a center fielder so what you can do is you can load up your outfield with three center fielders in left field have somebody that plays center field like mike trout in center field have somebody with primary center field like ken griffey jr and then in right field have somebody with primary center field like willie mays and all of the stats that are accumulated throughout online games with those three players will count towards this since they are all primary center fielders and that's basically how you go ahead and complete it once you complete it you're going to go back into the first inning program you're going to go into collections and you're going to go ahead and collect that eric davis which you got absolutely for free and get yourself a whopping 35,000 experience. I'm sitting at 38K right now, or 388,000. A whopping 35K would literally push me from level 26 to level 27. And if I hit level 27 before I end up completing that Eric Davis, it's gonna be enough to push me one whole level. So make sure you're doing that collection if you did not know about it already. And then Last but not least, what I would also focus on in terms of getting experience this weekend is going to be showdown and just completing team affinities as fast as you can. Because if you're looking to do conquest the most effective way possible, you're gonna want to be working towards team affinities at the same time, whether that's doing specific team affinity missions or setting up your team with players from certain divisions in order to tally those innings that will allow you to earn the points to unlock those cards that then therefore you will do missions for to me those are the fastest and most effective ways to gain experience i don't know anything about any glitch if there's any glitch of any sort or anything along those lines some people got blessed and when they logged into mlb the show 21 after the servers crashed they magically had their entire progress bar basically completed and when that happens i'm just left in shock but once again make sure you go ahead hit that like button red subscribe button don't forget to follow me on all socials at blade miss if you want to become a member feel free to do so have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i will catch you all on the next one peace out